This tree is Oregon green Austrian black pine. It has unique irregular branching, kind of like bonsai. It really prefers a drier climate than what we've got here in the northeast. Maybe you can learn from my mistake. Even if you see it sold locally, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have the right conditions to grow it, especially if no one else around you is growing it. It's growing a little faster than I expected. And unlike the green giants right next to it, it's not quite as easy to prune this pine. This is what it looked like when I first planted it about three years ago. You could see the vegetable garden was still in just the beginning stages. This is what the spring growth looks like. You could see those tall candles. They could be trimmed, but you have to keep in mind what a tree is going to look like long term. Every year, are you going to pull out a ladder and trim those candles? And what happens when it's taller than your ladder? Then you're going to have a top-heavy tree. The bottom branches on this tree are already struggling because the fence shades a good portion of the sun. I don't think you could really trim that trunk, or if you did, it would be risky and it really wouldn't look great, at least for a long time. These weird star-like growths are actually pollen. This tree is experiencing water stress here. You could tell because the new growth looks a little different than the prior years of growth. The needles are a little twisted, whereas the other needles are straighter. Most likely, it's from root rot. It rains too much here, but also in the summer, our neighbor's sprinkler sometimes goes over the fence day after day, so it gets a little extra water that it shouldn't be. But it's really my fault for planting this tree here in the first place. In an effort to help it, I've put down a tarp underneath all of this mulch to hopefully protect some of the roots from getting water. It might overheat the roots, maybe the roots won't get enough water, maybe this doesn't matter, it's not enough, but I'll let you know how that goes. It's a total experiment. So far it's been extremely strong in the snow. It's carrying a lot of snow on the branches and they just bend like rubber until the snow melts and then they assume basically the normal position again. Even if this tree is getting scary tall, at least it has an open habit, so it won't block all your sunshine. It will go through the branches, so it has a, a lighter feel to it. If you want to see the progress of this tree and other plants, please subscribe. Also, we have an ongoing battle with squirrels over an owl box. Winning.